the day done. I am talking to you, financial pros, CFOs, accountants, about how to grow your Facebook group and how to make millions using a Facebook community and how you can create instant authority and get clients using one social media platform, how omnipresence isn't everything and all it's chalked up to be. So, unlike other social media platforms where we're just showing up in people's newsfeed and it's a coincidence that you might be showing up for them, Facebook groups are intentional. People want to be there. They're going to join your Facebook group because your subject matter, your topic, what you're talking about is actually interesting to them. And finally, this is going to be your first free funnel. So maybe right now you're not ready to invest in click funnels. You're not ready to invest in other platforms where you're building out funnels, but you want to start capturing things like emails, phone numbers, or you want to start messaging people. This is where you can do that. So a Facebook group can act as your first free funnel. And if you don't know what a funnel is, don't worry. I'm going to explain that to you just here in a minute. Okay. Now that we understand exactly why we love to use a Facebook group, I'm going to talk about how a Facebook group works. And I'm going to talk about that in one, two, three, four steps. First of all, we have to grow our group. And so you guys probably are thinking, great, Facebook groups are awesome, but Alyssa, I don't have anyone to bring into a group. I've been in other Facebook groups, but what if there's no one to bring into my group? I don't have any people in it. So I'm going to give you some ideas on how to grow your group. Number one, you can grow your group two ways. The first way is using other people's audience. I call this OPA. So other people's audience. Number one, this is free, right? You don't have to spend any money. It's low risk to you. Using other people's audience gives you an opportunity to get in front of people that maybe are in your niche. You can do this through networking. You can do this through collaboration. You can do this through promoting your group in other people's audiences and working with other community members who have audiences that look like yours. So maybe you collaborate with another audience and you give value to that audience and let them know, hey, I have a Facebook group if you wanna join it, right? You could also do this if you have a small audience on another platform. Maybe you have an Instagram, maybe you have Twitter or Facebook. You can have them start joining, if they're interested, joining your Facebook group. So that's how we use other people's audience. You could also do this by speaking on stages, being on podcasts. Another way to grow your group is through paid methods. So we use ads or traffic. So you can use ads or paid traffic. You can run ads to an event that you're doing in your group. You can do a five day challenge or a three day challenge or a masterclass. Or you can simply run a lead magnet and let people know with the lead magnet also comes a free community that you're welcome to join. So once people come into your world and know about your group, what they can do is enter. Let's say enter the group, they can, you start to capture their information. And this is where we can treat our group as our first funnel. And so you'll see that I drew a bit of a funnel here where I'm saying you can capture information. And so these are all the people here that get to enter and funnel down into your community. And so what are we trying to capture here? I look at your Facebook group as your first lead capture or your first way of capturing information, your first funnel. I want to give you three questions that you can ask in your Facebook group. So I'm going to put those right up here. Number one, a qualifying question, right? So you want to qualify each member as they come into your group. You want to make sure it's the right type of people. You don't want just anyone coming into your group. So qualify them, ask them, are you these type of people? I ask people before they come into my Facebook group, are you an accounting professional? Are you a former CFO who would like to grow or scale your business? If that's you, you've come to the right place. If it doesn't sound like you, this place is not probably for you, right? So number one, qualify. Number two, email capture. We all know that we don't own Facebook. And anytime, any social media platform can shut us down. But 
What we do own is email lists, right? In a sense, we own our email list. We could get our email list shut down also if you're not careful. So you would capture emails. And you do that by asking if they want a specific goodie or want to get updates or a newsletter, right? So you can say, hey, if you'd like to get this special offer, special newsletter or updates, let us know and drop your email so we can send those to you. You capture email. Third question, lead gen. So we do a lead gen question. That lead gen question is where you ask them, hey, would you like us to message you? We help so-and-so people get these types of results, would you like us to message you in order to get these results? So the question I ask here is, hey, my company, my team has helped hundreds of accountants add over six figures in their annualized revenue every single year. Would you like to see if you could get these results with us? If so, we can reach out to you. We can send you a DM, say yes or no, right? And so we put like the little radio button where it's heck yes or no. So be like, yes, no, right? And about 50% of people say yes, right? And so what our team does is our team is gonna message these people. So we have people that are constantly saying yes, right? And then of those people, maybe 20% book a call. How great is that? So we're instantly booking calls just from a Facebook group before they've even entered the community. And that's awesome, right? And again, this is free. We have not paid ads yet. We haven't even paid for ads. This is what we did just for free. Okay, so now we need to create instant authority. So what do we do? We don't sit around, right? We have to create authority. So we are going to do something that I call the seven magic posts. So seven magic posts, right? Seven magic posts looks like showing up consistently. We do a post every single day. They're the only posts you ever need to make. So this looks like showing up weekly for a core training. It looks like giving social proof so you develop trust so people know that they can trust you. This looks like creating a money maker post, an engagement post, right? And if you need more information about the seven magic posts, I'm gonna drop the link right in the comments. So that's how you can create authority and it creates engagement in your community so people wanna hear from you and they begin to build a relationship with you. Finally, as you're nurturing your community, you're like, okay, Alyssa, how can I build a further relationship and how can I create more cash out of my community? You said that you made $3 million. This all sounds great and I told you you can book calls before these people have really even entered, but if you wanna make a lot of money, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a promo cycle. So we need to promote our offer, right? So now you have an offer, right? So what is your offer? What is your high ticket offer? And you need to be promoting that. So we do what we call a live launch, or you can do a challenge, you can do a webinar, right? And so whatever you're gonna do, whatever your promotion style is that you like, we love a lot live launch style. We do anything from four to seven days live launch. I go live during that time. I'm telling everybody what I got going on, what I have for them, what the offer looks like, how you can work with me. And what people do is they raise their hands and say, yes, I am interested in working, working with you. Yes, I do want to know about this opportunity. And so from there, we're telling them book a call, right? And so what we're doing is we're not promoting the offer at the cost, we're just promoting the call. And so they're booking calls, and then from there we're selling on the call, right? So we're selling on the call. And so this is how we have been able to make $3 million out of a Facebook group, and this is exactly what you guys can do as well. I know that I made this sound easy, I know that I broke this down pretty simplified. So if you need help with it and you want to hear more about this strategy, all you need to do is comment on here, comment on this YouTube channel, comment on this episode. I can support you. But what I need you to do more than anything is I need you to like and subscribe, help us out, support this channel. We're so excited about the growth we're having over here. We want to give you more value here on YouTube. If you're loving this content, let us know, get the word out so we can continue on this journey with you. Come on.